Hi guys! Hi everyone! Welcome again to our God's Hallelujah Kitchen. Yes, I am back in the kitchen today and I am going to walk you up some meal. Yes, I'm cooking for you today and I hope that you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends and family. And it's welcoming um, to see comments and uh, we're looking forward um, for your comments. Um, whether, you know, through YouTube or on Facebook. We appreciate all the comments that we have seen so far on Facebook. A big shout out to um, Reverend Julie, a big shout out to our pastor, a big shout out to um, the Thomas family who we'll take the time to watch the video and to send us a comment. Um, thank you for everyone who have watched and um, like the video. We do appreciate you watching. So yes, it's another day and it's a very bleaky day. So we are not having sunshiny day today in the UK. We are having a cloudy day. So it's dark on the outside, not bright and sunny. But no one, it's bright and sunny on the inside. And as we always said that our our YouTube channel is all about motivating, encouraging, empowering and giving you something to let you understand that you are special, you are valued, you are important. And even as it is um, going on now in America, we in which you know you have racism there. You know, we have racism in most country, but um, it's more evident, it's more showing, it's more out there in America. But we do understand not all white folks are racist not all white because we got white folks that is fighting to let others know that every human being no matter what the color of their skins they are one we are all human race there is no other race on this earth but human race so we do understand that some people are ignorant to the fact of who they are and some people want to be superior over others, so they formulate this new identity to believe in themselves that they are more than another person because of maybe their color, because of their education, because of their status. But one thing that you need to understand, there is only one race on the earth, and that's human race. Guys, let's get on into cooking my sister is working so she's not in the kitchen with me today so yes today let me tell you what i'm doing i'm doing some curry chicken and i'm going to show you some curry chicken so let me take you over to my curry chicken so this is the curry chicken is already seasoning and in that we have like the powder seasoning sorry i have mm, had enough time to really season it and show you. I tried to season it before because I wanted it to soak into the meat. So I've got some pumpkin, some um, potato, Irish potato. We have our thyme, we have our scallion, we have our garlic, we have our sweet pepper, we have some ginger. All of that is rubbed in to the chicken. And we also had in the chicken some rosemary because that's nice when it cooked so i'm doing some rice some rice i'm gonna wash my rice first always wash your rice my meat wash your meat and i'm doing some turn car meal and i learned a new name for turn car meal which is mama liga mama liga so in one of the caribbean um, not caribbean one of the european country um the name for turn call meal there is mama liga so that's what i'm cooking i'm all ready squeeze my freshly coconut milk this morning so that is going on and i have some pine skin with ginger 
that I boil and I'm gonna blend that for some nice refreshing drink. The oil is on the fire. Well, I haven't turned the stove on yet. So I'm gonna start my guys and then get back to you. So guys, the oil is hot. Um, I wash my rice and put it in the pot with some butter and salt and water. Over here, um, have some salt, I have some thyme, butter and coconut milk. And that is for my turn cornmeal, my mamaliga. And here is my cornmeal. Um, I had a bit of the coconut milk, but I'm going to add some almond milk to mix it and then to add it to the liquid on the stove well you can use cow's milk you can use whatever milk you are able to um, have so um, you know some people cannot have cow's milk so whatever milk you are able to drink you can use that milk well I'm using the fresh squeezed coconut milk with some almond milk here is my chicken ready to go into the pot and as you can see that yellow strong yellow curry seasoning the best curry to use is jamaican curry it gives your meat such beautiful color so i'm gonna add that to the pot because the pot is really really hot at this moment so let's go i'm gonna add it to the pot So that's it guys, I have the chicken to the, the pot, as you can see, so I'm going to cover that and leave it to cook. And there is my rice, looking good. I know some people, um, I realize that some people don't know how to cook rice, but it's quite easy. So they would like go to the shop and buy the processed one that is already cooked and and it's there for them to just warm into the microwave but it's nice to know how to to do your your um your rice just cook it freshly cooked i'm gonna add some more almond milk to the cornmeal This is the best way. Don't just like pour the meal um, in the liquid on the fire. It tends to lump up. So the best thing to do is to mix it out with your milk or even water. You know, you can use plain water. You don't have to use milk. You can use plain water. But I'm using my milk, my vegetable milk. <laughs> well plant-based milk so almond and coconut milk that's what i'm using so i'm stirring it out so when i add it to the liquid on the stove it won't be lumpy because this is what i'm talking about so when you mix it first before you add it to the liquid on the stove the, you can see there is no lump so this is the best way to carry out this task. So I'm going to add it to the pot now. See, I need to add some more liquid. So I'm going to add in some almond milk to the one on the stove. And then I'm going to like timely pour it in and stir. Always stir when you pour in your meal into the pot. So stir star star because you want to get it to that thick texture you know meal so let's get everything out in the pot keep stirring star star and star and star so that's what i'm doing i'm stirring it as you can see you keep stirring it 
and you see it looks really really um light or the texture is not thick but before you know it it will get to that thick texture and you can cover it and leave it there keep checking it leave it there to cook because you you need to cook your meal properly if it's not cooked properly you will taste it anyway it will have that taste that tells you that it's not properly cooked so how are you guys how are your day how what you're doing what you're having for dinner you know as i'm saying i'm cooking some curry chicken and i'm also doing some rice for those who don't want the turn meal they can have the rice so that's what i'm doing how are you how are your day how are you in your emotions how are you you know in life in general yeah i do understand that there are so many things that is going on and sometimes we wear this mask and people because they cannot see the inside you know they look on the old side of an individual and they believe that everything is fine because you might dress well you wear your makeup you know so they think oh life is going well for you everything is fine but that's not the case you know there are stuff that people are going through that they are not open opening in it up to other people because you know we're living in a world and if you if people are honest they can really you know agree with me in this aspect but we are living in a world that you really can find people that you can trust people that you can confine in people that you can share your burden to you really can find those individuals and so people are suffering in silence because they don't believe that there is anyone that they can communicate to and share their burdens because there is burdens as i always said in my video life comes with two sides to it you have your bad days and you have your good days. You have negative and you have positive. See what is going on in America? Negative things is happening. So you got negative and you got positive. So guys, I just want to show you what my curry chicken looks like. So look at that. That's my curry chicken. And as I said before, if you want this perfect color, the best curry to use is Jamaican curry. Jamaican curry is the best curry to use. So that's my chicken. Um, I'm going to add the rest of the seasoning. So like the vegetable part of it, I'm going to add it to the pot with a bit of water and then when that cooks it brings it to that gravy gravy texture and that's your meal and i have i don't know if anyone have ever used this before curry sauce it's like it's just tomato ketchup i don't know what other ingredients they have in it but it's it calls curry sauce and it's quite really nice to add to your curry look at my rice guy look at this rice see i tell you rice is so easy to cook easy to cook just put it on a low eat and leave it there that's the rice cooking that's the rice cooking and it's so easy just some butter salt in some hot water and that's the rice cooking okay that's my turn corn meal my mamaliga see i tell you that it would get to that texture 
So all it's doing now on a low heat is they're cooking because meal, meal take a time to cook. So you just leave it on a low heat. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to share it with you guys. Can't wait to share it. We love to all hot stuff in our hands. I don't know why, but that's it. And here in my blender, I have some pine peel. So you know when you peel your pine, you don't get rid of that because that you can use to make some drink, a nice refreshing cool drink. So all in there is some pine skin with some ginger and I'm going to blend that up. Then I'm going to strain it and then the liquid, I'm just going to add some lemon with some sugar, not a lot of sugar. Put it in the fridge, pour it in a glass, put some ice in that, and you have a refreshing, cool drink, especially if the weather is hot. So guys, now, I'm, now I've had the other part of the seasoning to the chicken, and that is a vegetable. So that's it. So it looks so lovely. So I have some Irish potato and some pumpkin because I learned that pumpkin is so nice in your curry well it's my recipe I don't know if anybody have done that before but it come to my mind and I did it so I'm gonna have the liquid so you just pour you you know the basin that you you season the meat in you pour some hot water in that and you just pour it on your meat Give it a stir, like that, yeah, look at that my guys, look at that, and then you leave it to cook, so I'm going to blend now my juice, and I'm going to show it to you what it looks like when I complete blending, blending, blending it, blending it. So guys, what do you think? Look at that beautiful pot of curry. Oh my God, it looks so, so delicious. That's curry chicken on the go. Delicious curry chicken. You see the Irish potato. You can see the pumpkin peeping up, the sweet pepper. Ooh, delicious. Mm, I can just taste it. And the rice is finished. The turn meal, no, it's almost finished. And that's the drink there. Guess what guys, you can add some pumpkin noodle to your curry. And I'm gonna delicious. have delicious, delicious. I'm gonna have some to it. that's it. This is God's Hallelujah Kitchen where inspiration, revelation is burnt forth. So we cook Hallelujah. in with so much difference in our kitchen, okay? Mm. And as we said before, everybody cooks different. Everybody home cooks beautifully. So, yeah. Everybody cooks different. Everybody home is different. So... But when you watch our video, it's always come with a bit of difference, okay? And we try out a lot of different stuff in our kitchen okay. because I believe that great chefs have to experiment on things. And I believe that in God's Hallelujah Kitchen, we are one of the great chefs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I am making um, the pineapple drink which I'm gonna put in this bottle yeah so that's what I'm doing at the moment and I will add um, a spoon of sugar I have some um, lemon in it yeah so we don't really use a lot of sugar but we do use sugar okay muddy cube muddy cube and she's gonna put a muddy cube to bring the curry Hope you guys are enjoying it. Remember, like, share, 
and subscribe and, leave and comment. hit the notification bell. Hit it. Okay, so you can know when we actually post our video. And we do lots of video because yeah. we like to keep our viewers entertained. Okay? So you will never be bored. You will always have something to watch. So remember, share, 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 share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And hit the notification bell. Love you. Love you guys. Love you guys. So guys, dinner is served. And look at the plate. On the plate, you have your turn cornmeal, your mamaliga with your cow chicken and slice of pear or if you have any vegetable you can add to your plate or cook vegetable you can have that or you can have it with rice if you don't want the mamaliga so i'm doing a fresh glass of our pineapple or uh, lemon pineapple with ginger, ginger and, lemon. and lemon so that's for dinner what do you think guys you love it you'd enjoy this meal yes you would and I'm looking forward to just sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal. So, from our God's Alleluia Kitchen, we want to take this time to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you guys for spending the time to watch. And you can follow through with, with our method in the way that we cook so if you want to try you won't regret it you won't regret it i tell you you won't really, regret it really it's so beautiful delicious and what you'd like to say my twin sister because she wasn't here okay so, um, so i have been working as you know my sister told me before i work from home so i have been working and it has been very rewarding you know being able to help people to get through their emotional trauma so it has been a very rewarding rewarding day so that's the reason why you hadn't seen me early on in the video because i was in another room doing my work but guys remember in this time of uncertainty because some people doesn't really know if they have a job to go back to and kids are worried about how they will perform in school because you know being away from the, the, the classroom can be very challenging for some children because children, you know, are used to having a teacher in front of them or used to that sort of support. And some children, it can be, you know, really difficult when they have to learn this new way of studying on their own without teachers there to support them. So there are a lot of uncertainty, you know, going back to normality, how it's gonna be, and it can bring about worry, it can bring about frustration, it can bring about stress. But what I want to say to you, whether my young viewers, my older viewers, whether you're worried about finance, whether you're worried about your job, whether you're worried about your studies, worry is not a bad thing, yeah, but it can be a bad thing. Because if you're worrying and it's um, affecting your movements and it's putting you into a stop place where you can't function, that's when worry becomes a negative thing. But if you sit there and worry, it won't actually change the situation either. What can you do? Okay, what, what method can you take? Always remember young people that going back to school is going to be different. So your teachers is going to approach you in a different way so you worried about you how, how good you are in your lesson that won't be the first point to call in the school okay so don't worry too much mommy and daddy don't worry too much okay it will get back to that place where you can function again love you guys stay strong stay brave